When My Heart Felt Volcanic is the debut album from the Aces, comes out in April, and they join us here in San Francisco. Hello! Hello. Thank you so much for your time. Am I wrong? This is your first performance, big performance in San Francisco? It's our yeah. first time ever here as a band, yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like, why haven't we been here? It's so we've funny. road tripped before, me and Chris have together, and we've all been here. We love San Francisco. Yeah. It's literally my favorite city, and I know you guys love it too. But we've never so been here as a band, so. Yeah. My dad's so from. Santa Rosa. Really? Yeah, so we come to yeah. San Francisco all the time. And your mom. As well as our mom is from Fremont. So Bay Area love well, up in here. Yeah, why We're have you not Bay played? Bay Association, yeah. so. Okay, so roll call for everybody. It's uh, McKenna, Elisa, Katie, and Crystal. Mm -hmm. And Elisa, I have to ask because you are wearing the Durant jersey, <laughs> but yet you guys grew up in Utah. Mm -hmm. So where is this coming from? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's for fashion. It's for fashion. fashion. I saw okay. the jersey when I was shopping. And I was like, that is tight. Right now. You guys have a very interesting history and, and also different backgrounds and taste in music that I find really interesting. Uh, just briefly, because I'm sure we could talk for an hour about it, but you know, with, with alternative and, and growing with New Order, uh, McKenna, and, and then you know, the, the Ramirez sisters with the 80s pop, and then classic rock for Katie. Uh, where does it all meet in terms of like Katie wanting to shred and do a you know, <laughs> guitar solo and, and you guys tempering it down or is it, does it temper down? Honestly, I don't feel like it's ever been a problem for us though. Yeah. I don't feel like any of us feels the need to like go crazy on our instrument. Like I don't, I don't know. I think we balance it very nicely between the four of us and I think that we just want to like play and write, play good songs yep. and like write good songs. And I think you can always tell when there's a member of the band who's like, my solo. Right. Yeah. I don't think we have ever we had a problem with I think that we all meet in the middle really nicely though and you can tell with our lyrics and melodies because you guys write our lyrics and melodies yeah. are very, you know, 80s pop driven and then like instrumentation wise like funky, we do like lots of funky bass Rhythm and drums, selection. yeah, and lots of like fun guitar solos, like our new album has quite a few guitar solos, so it's just, I think it all blends really well. People may not know, they're just still learning about you, but you guys have been 10 years in the making, and I love the story about McKenna, where she was performing with you guys at a graduation, and she wasn't oh even my gosh. tall enough or big enough <laughs> you to know face. this. And the strap so broke or something done, like I that. Love, I have you, video you have of done, it. Are you kidding you me? You have done your research. I love yeah. it. We actually have a picture of that performance. Um, but yeah, that happened and it was so terrifying. Iconic. I remember just being mortified. Like, even back then, I felt like we we had this very much like the show must go on. Mentality. Yeah. We did you not stop not singing. You guys carried it on. We just did kept not going. stop singing. We were playing Time for Me to Fly by Jonas Brothers. And <laughs> you guys just kept <laughs> going. For our sixth grade graduation. Yeah, I love it. And Time for us to fly. The thing that you have to know about McKenna is when she was younger the bass was bigger than her body. She was tiny. Kenna's the tall like one like the tallest of us now. She was literally to my shoulder for most of the band. Yeah. Like, I was really she small. was so small. And then she had like a gross fur and now she's taller than all of us, but <laughs> she was tiny. So the bass was like massive on her. And I was wearing so I was wearing a skirt too. So I was like kneeling down like so small like trying to pick it up and it was just like booming on the ground. <laughs> it was bad. I don't even So know, you I heard can't. the thud. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it was like Echo there was an audible the gasp from the crowd, yeah. honestly, and I just was like, keep going, keep going. It was, <laughs> it was pretty bad. Like, I wonder if we have a, that film somewhere. Yeah. But I feel like it was somewhere. endearing, you know? They're like, yeah. aw, the show must go on. They yeah. kept going. It's impressive. Yeah. So the debut album comes out April 6th, mm -hmm. but you've been releasing music in spurts, EPs, and those kind of things. Mm -hmm. What is the oldest song, and what's the most recent song oh that you gosh. wrote? Because debut albums are generally uh, a collection of thoughts and material yeah, over like the course of your life, life up to that yeah, point. Pretty much. Yeah, I think the oldest yeah. song that made the record is like almost four years old. Um, or I guess, yeah, what, three years old? Three or four, it's, it's called Last One. Yeah, um, we that was like the first, first of our writing sessions for this album, like years back when we first were, you know, coming out to LA and figuring that out. That song was written. Um, and then the latest was Fake Nice. Fake Nice was written. Which was so cool to get to put that out as the first single because it was like, I think there's something so magical to like putting something out really quickly after it was created because you kind of, you know, everything lines up when you're kind of in this this time frame, you know, 2017, you know, just whatever's happening in the world, you, you pick up on this vibe, you write this song, it's so cool to get to drop it so close to when it was created because you're kind of, it gets to ride that wave and it doesn't risk 
losing stamina or heat. And so I love that we re- yeah. we wrote that one last and released it first. And I think it was a good right. decision. But it's also been really amazing because we're playing last one live on this tour. And that song was written four years ago. And the reaction, like the crowd reaction, that song lost no steam yeah. over those That years. one's a special yeah. one. It's um, like, yeah. It's just like kids are loving it. We're getting tweets nonstop about it. Like, when's it coming out? When's it coming out? And so it's really cool to that that song is standing the test of time like i we wrote it when you know we were 17 at least it was 15 and now we're 22 and Lisa's least 20 and it's still seeming to be a relevant song like kids are still loving it so well we're really excited for your future thank best you best of luck with the rest of the tour and we can't wait for the album to come out thank, thank you thank you so, so much nice to see you guys thank, thank you. you it is the aces and you're watching b-sides on air